Gotta chomp on that meat. Better get my hunger back up, because we're about to go in for another round of making new weapons. More weapons? Yep. More weapons. Oh, that's... How do you remember all this? Uh, I have a laptop on the side that has everything uh. open. <laughs> so this is the fire rod. And it's not as cool as, like, Zelda, Spire Rod, or anything like that. And, frankly, it's... It's kind of underwhelming. It's not very useful. But... I was... open for more. It does light things on fire, though. I'm mad because there's no pigs spawned over here. Everyone, all of them have swum to the other side. So I'm waiting for pigs to spawn so I can hit them with my fire rod. There we go. Big fire rod. Oh, he's on fire. Yep. The fire oh, rod did it breaks him. It? it breaks in one hit. But it's really, oh. really cheap on resources, so I can see why. It does cook the pig, though. That's fair. Yeah. But, Fire Rod is not necessarily, like, the best thing. Because, you know, you got your spears. But, spears aren't very good at range either. So, let's make some javelins. Cheaper than arrows. A javelin? Yep. They're cheaper than arrows because you don't need the feathers. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Hop right in the eye. <laughs> But javelins, gruesome. they don't fly as far as arrows, nor do they do as much damage. However, they're still pretty useful because they're easy to make. Because all you need is a couple of sticks and a flint. And you get a couple of javelins. Nice. So, the next thing I'm going to make is a mystery, because I don't actually remember. So... Oh yeah, I know what I'm gonna make. Uh, TNT is fun, right? Yes. So, what about its little brother? Make some dynamite. Oh my goodness. So, this was the first time I'd ever tested like most of these things. So I'm like, oh crap, oh. that that lights in your hand, and then you have to throw it. Now the explosion on dynamite is pretty small compared. It says it's half size. Still that enough makes to, sense. Still enough to break the land. I want to kill that pig. Still not dead, though. However, I killed him by throwing the stick into his face. <laughs> <laughs> and I learned that dynamite actually uh, stops, if you throw it into water, it stops working. Wow. So I went and I, I don't know, I just threw it in the water for no reason. I think there was a shark or something over there I wanted to kill. So next, we're gonna make, um, I think I'm tabbing out again to take a look. Oh yeah. You know, sometimes you want, it, it'd be, it's fun to, you know, test out all your weapons and stuff, see what they do. So I'm gonna make something that I can do that with. Now, what I'm doing here is another feature of uh, not enough items. You can actually search for things by typing. Insane. Yep. So I'm getting myself some wool, some wheat, and some leather armor. And we're gonna make what's essentially a punching bag. No. Yep. We're gonna make a training dummy. Oh my goodness. And this is just a little neat thing for the heck of it. You just plant it down on the ground, and there it is. That is can, the coolest thing ever. And you can punch it. Or you can hit it with weapons. Now, it's not the sturdiest thing ever. But you can still just, you know, have fun and hit the thing, try out all your stuff. It will be destroyed by fire, explosions, and uh, warhammer smashes. Massive impact. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that, so I was kind of disappointed. So I'll just I'll just put the warhammer away again. So the next thing I'm gonna make is the I think I'm gonna start going into the ranged weapons here. Uh, 
other than javelins, because I know... Well, I guess all this stuff is ranged, isn't it? So far, at least. But we need a flint and steel for this one. Now, this actually takes a couple parts to build. So we're going to make the first part a stock. Can you see where we might be going with this? No. Well, you will in a second. We're going to make a musket barrel. Oh. So, let's put them together, and there you go. We got a musket. Now you're a real gangster. Gangsters with muskets. Now, you can't do anything a with a musket. Hmm? That should be a play, gangsters with muskets. <laughs> Gangs of old New York. <laughs> old, so, old New York. <laughs> ye old gangs. Gangs ye old of gangsters. York. Yeah. <laughs> so, to fire the musket, you need, you know, you need ammunition. So we'll make some musket balls. And we've got a convenient pig that I punched for no reason. So I'm here I'm trying to figure out how to load the thing. You basically right click and I missed oh because God. I didn't I didn't stop to aim. So you hold right click until it kicks. And then like the bow, you have to um aim and fire. And there you go. Him out. And now I'm looking around. What can I shoot at? And I see an Enderman up there. Unfortunately, I missed. And now he's just gonna come and attack uh, me. Ah, he's dick off. But because it's a ranged oh. weapon, you can dodge it. Now you can actually see how strong some of these weapons are. Dodging bullets. Battle axe takes him out in three hits, which is pretty, pretty good. Yeah, comparatively. Because they're pretty powerful now. Now, you can upgrade your bayonet by attaching an iron knife to it. However, or, or a musket, uh, you can upgrade it. But my musket's kind of broken right now. So I'm going to store it away in my alchemy bag. Because I've got a little thing in there that allows me to self-repair them over time. Um, and we'll get into that when we go to the whole mod that features the alchemy bag. But right now the musket's repairing, so I'm going to go ahead and make a new, a uh, different weapon, and we'll go back to the musket in a moment. So... Low gun. Yep. Make some sugar re cane into a blow gun. You oh, take your cactus. cactus and your feathers. That's And the clever. musket finished repairing. So we're going to make some ammo for it. Some poisonous darts. So let's load it up, and we'll fire at this poor pig here. And now that pig is on poison. Or, oh my goodness. pig is poisoned. And he ran into water. Oh. oh. Poor pig. Oh, they're test subjects. They'll be fine. Ew. So the dart oh actually God. travels really far. I have no idea where it went off to. So the musket's repaired now, and so I can attach it, and you get a musket with a bayonet. And this seems pretty useful because it's actually pretty powerful. Wow. It takes two or three hits to, to kill something. So yeah. That one seems pretty good. Amazing. I don't know how durable it is. It's probably not too durable to prevent it from being too overpowered. So, that's a that's it for the musket. So, our inventory's cluttered. I'm just going to throw some of this stuff back into the bag for the time being. We don't need all that pork. Uh, there is another gun in the game that we can make, or in the mod. Um, but I'm just pulling out some more things, because I think we're about to make the, uh, make, yeah, we're about to make a what? crossbow. What? Yep. 
Now the crossbow doesn't use arrows, it uses crossbow bolts. Now the difference between the bow and the crossbow is the crossbow actually takes time to reload. You do have to reload it and then fire. It's more powerful than the bow itself. Though you wouldn't be able to tell because uh, right away because my bow does have a power enchantment on it. Um, so I decided to test it off on those those spiders. spiders. Yeah, pigs aren't exactly very hardy, and oh my crossbow goodness. killed it in one hit. Whereas the bow, even with a power enchantment, takes two. Doesn't kill a zombie in one hit though. So the crossbow is pretty cool. The only downside is the fact that it has to reload, which in a tense situation might not be the best. But it is pretty neat in its own right, and you can make the crossbows on your own on as you go, or the bolts as you go. Now that was a blunderbuss barrel. You you like, know what like a blunderbuss is basically. An right? elephant gun. Uh, pretty much, yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, this thing would probably stop an elephant. Now, like the musket, you gotta re you gotta make your ammo for it. And this one, what better way than to, you know, shoot him with a whole bunch of gravel? Wait. Looks like, yeah, it's like a spread shot? Like a... It's pretty much like a shotgun. So... Wow. Be careful. And I actually missed. Because <laughs> I had no idea how this thing worked. Somehow I got hurt. Oh. I don't know how. Got yourself. Maybe. All I know is this thing is pretty fun and you can actually see the shot in the ground. It does not have a good range, though, like yeah. you would expect of a shotgun. So it works in the distance, or it works up close. I can't even hit those wolves over there. But Hello, I can. Mr. Piggy. Goodbye, yep. Mr. Piggy. It doesn't destroy anything either, but it is fun. So next. I'm looking up what I can, what else I can make. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and put away the blunderbuss, the crossbow, pork. I don't need any more shot, so I'll go ahead and get rid of the flint and the paper. And I realize I don't need any of the like some of these other things either, so we'll go ahead and get out what we do need for the last, uh, the last weapon in the mod. This is probably Ooh. the coolest one. Best for last, huh? Pretty much. I do need one more thing, though. I forgot. I do need another flint and steel. Technically, it's not a gun. But... Well, you'll see. Laser cannon? A cannon! <laughs> one thing less cool than a laser cannon. It's, it's a laser a cannon. cannon would be pretty cool. I don't know how that would work. What would it fire? <laughs> laser cannonballs? Cannon and I felt made like out the, of light. I felt like the music going on right now was not fun enough, so I went ahead and I decided to add my own. Uh, now you'll get to see my indecision as I was trying to figure out if there's anything like Flight of the Valkyries in Minecraft, but there isn't. So I just I went ahead with the dancing, the cat one. So let's test this bad boy out. I still got pigs spawning. I am excited. And there it is. Oh my goodness, that is huge. Look at that thing. Oh my god. You actually sit in it and load the cannonballs in. However, I did forget one thing, and I had to actually look up really fast what it does. Basically, you need to have gunpowder in your inventory, and I have none of it because I put it away. So here I am, pretty confused. Meanwhile, all these pigs are spawning. 
pigs. We get them so smug. I get the feeling that these pigs are probably going to be around for any more laboratory testing I need to 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 do. So now I've got gunpowder, and it's loaded. And oh let's my goodness. aim, and I had no idea where it's going, but there it goes. Wow. Took out a chunk of the mountain. And I did not kill that, that pig. I hit him, but I didn't kill him. I'm thinking, oh, where should I shoot next? Let's just see how much environment damage it does. So I took out a bit of the tree. That is really cool. This is a bad oh, idea. Oh, you're gonna blow yourself up. Oh, look at that. Took out the spawners. Whoa, you're moving. I got up. Oh, the, yeah, the pig. Apparently, you can push the cannon. So that's it with the weapons mod. The only downside to the weapons mod I find is you can't actually enchant anything. Uh, any of these weapons, uh, which is a bummer, but everything is pretty fun. It's pretty cool, so I'm very happy with this mod. Enchanted cannon. Yep, that'd be terrifying. That'd be amazing. <laughs>